Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have really good news for you because Google AI Studio has update. And this update is really cool. It's related to vibe coding. If you watch my video about Lovable, think of this as an alternative to Lovable. So basically, it is a vibe coding inside Google AI Studio. And the cool stuff, you can use it absolutely free, at least for now. If you never heard about Vibe Coding, if you never heard about Lovable, don't worry, because it's really simple things to learn. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google AI Studio to build your first application. And if you're familiar with Vibe Coding, it also could be useful because this tool is really fast, it's free, and you can deploy your project directly from AI Studio. Let's get started. Open website aistudio.google.com. Then in the left menu, select Build. On the next page, you will see this prompt section. You also will see these kind of apps below the prompt section. Basically, it's a uh, tools that you can connect to your final web application. For instance, there is an image generation, image analyzer, voice to speech, Google Maps. Google search and many other useful web from Gemini. If you click on model icon in the prompt area, you will turn on advanced settings where you can select the models currently available Gemini Pro and Flash. And you can set up instruction for agent. It is an optional, so you can skip it. Then in another dropdown, you can select a framework. Currently there is available React and Angular. I'm going to use React for this application. And that's all in terms of settings. In the prompt section, you have the ability to attach different files. You can attach images, text files, and PDFs to add a little bit more context to your prompt, especially if you want uh, the agent use your information for building the app. But again, it's not necessary. You don't have to add anything if you don't want. Then you can select a tool. Again, this step is optional. If you don't want to select any tool, it's completely fine. Since I want to build image analyzer, I'm going to select analyze image tool, simply clicking on the tool and it will appear in the prompt section. Then you need to write your prompt. Try to be descriptive as possible because quality of your prompt will affect the result of your web application. I'm going to use a very simple prompt in this tutorial. I will ask agent to build a web application that will describe the image and then we'll find similar image on the internet. Okay, it is a very simple application and let's see what Gemini can build for us. Once you are ready, simply click build button. And as you can see, our agent start build the application. During the building process, you will see the suggestions from the agent in the center of the screen. You can add the suggestion to the chat box. And once it's finished the first version of the application, you can ask agent to apply this suggestion to the application. Okay, the agent is building the web application for us. So the chat is at the left hand side and the preview of the application at the right hand side. So basically all of these tools has similar interface. If you ever use like Lovabell or Replit, you will be probably very familiar with the interface. Actually, to my surprise, Google AI Studio agent is pretty fast. You actually can look the code that is writing right now. Simply click on the code tab. Or you can change to the preview mode in order to see the application. As you can see, left hand side, I have additional suggestion. I will apply it later. But for now, as you can see, this is my application. Okay, let me run the prompt again with the suggestion from the previous steps. And then we are going to test the application. Another cool stuff is that you can save the code inside AI Studio on your local computer or you can publish into GitHub and even deploy the application if you are ready. And all of this, you can do it top right menu. The interface also has the functionality to preview your application in different devices. So you can check responsiveness. It supports tablet, mobile, and desktop views. Okay, it seems my application is ready. Let's test it out. I'm going to upload random image, for instance, this one. This is a worksheet for craft work. And let us ask AI to analyze the image. 
and as you could see in about 10 seconds it gives very good description for this image but that's not all below you will see the links to the similar images on the internet so let's try click some links and see if the images are similar it might be not exactly same images but they should relate to the worksheet and as you can see the first image perfect one perfect match i would say the second image also about paperwork maybe not exactly like in my example but still about the paperwork and the third one also something about paperwork so i would say the application is working it's a very simple one but at least gemini gave me what i asked okay let's go back to the interface the top right menu you will see this copy it is a basically function that allows you to copy this entire application for instance if you're happy with this version and you want to play with the new version a little bit more and you don't want to destroy it, what you've done already you can use this copy function and then in ai studio in your dashboard you will have two applications as you could see i click your app in the left menu and this is my two applications that I have just created. I'm not sure if there is a limitation in terms of how many applications you can have. So if you want to delete the application, simply click this cross and then it will be deleted. Okay, let's go back to my application. Okay, suppose you are ready to deploy your application. All you need, simply click this deploy button, then add the project if you don't have any google project you can create one and then you will need to create a billing account to deploy your application in the cloud if you will be interested about this in details please let me know in the comments below and for now i'm going to skip this option if you are really happy with your code and you want to save it into your github project there's another button at the top right corner simply click at the github icon then sign in into your github account after that, follow the instructions on the screen. Once you connected your GitHub account, you can create your new repository. Simply give it a name, give it a description, and select if you want to make it private or public. And after that, click Create Git Repo at the bottom right corner. And that's it. Right now, your application inside GitHub. So simple and easy. As you could see, this is my repository and this is my application. Once you publish the application inside the repository, you can continue improving it by interacting with the agent inside the chat at the left-hand side. And once you're happy with the result, simply click Save button at the top right corner and then you can create, commit and publish the change into GitHub account. Just a couple of clicks and your project will be in GitHub. So simple and straightforward. And that's probably it for today. Please give it a shot and let's see what you can build with this new tool. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. And I hope to see all of you in my next videos. Bye.